Hello, it's Felonius the Old Yapper again. Hmm, abbreviation. Me and Bongo had a discussion about these. Um, first of all, I can't pronounce abbreviations completely. He was thinking, why does it called N-O for number? Well, it's not really that hard to understand. I, I suggested it had to be do with Latin. Um, first of all, Bongo, I was a bit wrong. First of all, it is a typographical uh, abbreviation, um, but it's still numero. It's Latin or Italian, whatever you call it. And the Latin is actually what uh, defines most of English abbreviations. Let's take your, you are still using AM and PM, <clears throat> the rest of the world is using 24 hours, you are using only 12 because you cannot count as far, I don't know. Um, AM is ante meridian, before midday, and PM is thereby post meridian, after midday. So it's not really that problematic if you know your Latin, ante and post. Um, but they, they are simple. What I have always had problem, problems with is EG and IE. Now, we have abbreviations in Swedish as well. First of all, our abbreviation for um, number uh, in Swedish is nummer, um, is NR. The first and the last letter, as it should be. <laughs> um, so many of ours are uh, like yours as well. We have etc. But on the other hand, we also have med mera, mm, uh, med flera, mfl, uh, and a lot of others. But your eg and ie, I can't, I can't separate them. That's one of my problems. Now, I'm not an English-talking person, so if I cannot fix it, it's okay. But what if your young ones can't fix it? Mm. Let's start with IE. It's, of course, Latin, id est, in other words, or that is. In Swedish, we say, det vil säga, that will say, straightly. Uh, interpreted, which is the same one, but we've also <clears throat> uh, abbreviated DVS. Mm -hmm. So we take the words that we are using and we abbreviate them. You don't. You still use Latin. Now, the American people should not be bothered with this because it's the English people who has started it. So it's all blame on them. The EG is also Latin, exempli gratia, or in, as you pronounce it, for example. Now, we have the exact same thing in Swedish, but we're not saying for, we're saying till, so we say till example, and we um, abbreviate it T-E-X. Um, so, it's easier for us, of course. I'm looking through a list, and I'm not really sure that I should keep on checking all these, because there are something else about all this stuff. Um, we have <laughs> a couple of problems when it comes to axioms, um, or shall I say, abbreviation of general things. ST can be street. It can be saint, and in Swedish it becomes big, stor. So <laughs> we do have some problems with this. And then we have the ac acronyms, and we're not using that many of them, are we? I'm just checking through a list here. Acronyms of names, that's easier. And education is nothing to do with it. But the problem is, these abbreviations we have, and the way we use them, is common knowledge for those who have learned them in school and are using them as they should. You are abbreviate the words, but you are pronouncing them as full words. 
and EG and IE, among others, are going to be a problem in the future. You should really change that. But young people have had a very easy time trying to learn new ones, like LOL, laughing out loud. All those internet abbreviations they have taken to their heart. And why? Well, first of all, they are abbreviation of words, not Latin. And if you are comparing it to anything, compare it to the, well, the military. Any military services are using complete correct abbreviation. And most of them are also using 24 hours, by the way. Um, so they are easy to learn. And still, they are using them totally wrong. I say that 98% of everyone who is writing LOL is not even smiling. I say rolling on the floor laughing, ruffle, I say 99.8% of them writing that is not rolling on the floor laughing and holding a keyboard at the same time, writing R O and ruffle. So those abbreviations are really meaningless. They're not, they're not standing for anything. It's more like the people using them, oh, I can use that one. That, that sounds nice. I want to be laughing out loud, but I can't because it wasn't that funny. But if they think that I'm laughing out loud, they think they were funny. <sighs> yeah. Well. The problem is going to be when they need to learn the old ones, the old abbreviation, i.e., i.e., and the new ones are useless more or less all the time. <laughs> A little funny part about abbreviations while we're still at it. I was doing some chatting back in the internet times of 99. In Swedish, Smile is um, pronounced ler, and with an L, L-E-R. And laughing is called skrattar. That starts with an S. Back in those days, we always had those asterisks uh, at one side over the other. So it was asterisk, L, asterisk, we were smiling. And then we said asterisk, S, asterisk, we were laughing. And then we got hold of some international people. And they couldn't figure out why we were only smiling when it was funny and was laughing when it was not that funny. But they didn't know that we were leer and skrattar. Our L and S was shifting. <laughs> so... Um, when we finally got hold of why they didn't understand that, it was easier to talk to them. And we started to use the English ones. And actually, I think most Swedish uh, internet people are using the English abbreviations for the chatting thing. Because if we are going to use the Swedish, Swedish version, there probably will be some misunderstanding. Right, let's abbreviate this. Bye.